Hey guys, what's up? I am back with another speed test. So in this video, we will be comparing the Techno Cayman 20 against the Xiaomi Redmi Note 12. And the Xiaomi Redmi Note 12 is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 685 SoC with 6 GB of RAM. I don't have the 8 GB of RAM variant right now. While the Cayman 20 is powered by MediaTek Helio G85 SoC with 8 GB of RAM. So on the back, we have a triple cameras on the Redmi Note 12 versus a dual cameras on the Cayman 20. And Cayman 20 has a 64 megapixel f1.7 aperture main camera. And then we have a 2 megapixel depth sensor. While on the Redmi Note 12, we have 48 megapixel main camera with 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel macro. And the back on both phones is made up of plastic. Again, we have a matte finish on both phones. On the Cayman 20, we have a diamond cut design, which looks really nice. Also on the frames also is made up of plastic. We have in display fingerprint scanner on the Cayman 20 versus inside the power button on the Redmi Note 12. Also on the bottom we have our headphone jack on the Cayman 20 which you also find on the Redmi Note 12 on the top as you can see. And both phones also has a stereo speaker. So I am very very excited to see that how is the Cayman 20 is gonna perform against the Xiaomi. Redmi Note 12 and both phones is comes almost in the same price tag here in Pakistan and Cayman 20 as well as the Redmi Note 12 both phones also has a IP53 water and dust resistance which is a really nice thing so now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time so Logos came up first on the Cayman 20 And both phones is running on Android 13, iOS 13 versus MIUI 14, which is based on Android 13, of course. So the Cayman 20 looks faster. So the Cayman 20 is faster when it comes to booting up, as you can see, and the Redmi Note 12 is, be is way behind, as you can see. So we have a 3 or 4 second difference, maybe more, between these devices when it comes to booting up. So everything is closed up in the background. No application is running in the background. So now let's open up phone dialer, some basic stuff that, and that is very similar. So now let's open settings, also very similar. So now let's go to the display. So we have 120Hz refresh rate on the Redmi Note 12 versus a 60Hz on the Cayman 20. I wish that we have 90Hz on this phone. But anyways, now check out some more apps. Amazon shopping with same Wi-Fi network. So the Redmi Note 12 is a slightly faster, not a big difference of course. Scrolling in that area, we have big difference. 120 Hertz, it feels much smoother as compared to the 60 Hertz that we get on the Cayman 20. So now let's open this. And slightly faster on the Redmi Note 12. So now check out some games application and now let's opening up the Candy Crush Sega. Candy Crush it is slightly faster on the Cayman 20 with their Helio G85 SoC. Instagram and that is similar. And now let's see pin out. Pin out it is very similar I would say. Snapchat that is faster on the Cayman 20. Spotify, Spotify it is little faster on the Cayman 20. Subway Surfer, another game. Let's see how both phones will for, will perform. Snapdragon 685 versus Helio G85. So the Redmi Note 12 is faster there. So let me show the speakers on both phones. Again we have series speakers. First on the Cayman 20. Not that great. Here is the Redmi Note 12. The speakers, it is, I would say, one of the best in this price range on the Redmi Note 12. And now let's see Temper and 2. This time, Redmi Note 12 is taking the lead while Cayman 20 is stuck. I don't know why. So Redmi Note 12 is way faster in the temper and 2. And now let's open this 
big game which is called as PUBG Mobile. Let's see in that game which one is faster. Which one is faster? Snapdragon 685 versus MediaTek Helio G85, which is based on 12 nanometer architecture. So the Redmi Note 12 is much much faster as you can see in the PUBG. Again, we have same Wi-Fi network, the same versions on both phones. Also in that game, we have smooth graphics with ultra frame rate on both phones. And the gaming performance, I would say it is little more better on the Redmi Note 12. And now let's open X. And that one, it is faster on the Camon 20. Zedge. And Zedge, it is faster on the Redmi. Now let's see the scrolling. Scrolling feels much smoother on the redmi note 12 as you can see while on the while on the cam 20 so last time launching the cameras on both phones default camera application let's see which one will open the camera faster so the cam 20 is slightly faster as far as the camera performance are concerned and the cam performance i feel it is little more better on the cam 20 especially the back camera but anyways now let's look at the front facing camera and the front facing camera it is much better on the Camon 20 I would say one of the best in this price range we have 32 megapixel sensor versus a 16 megapixel okay guys now let's see internet blowing speed so I am using chrome on both phones also we have same wifi network so now let's open wikipedia.org that is very similar Scrolling feels much smoother on the Redmi Note 12 with their 120 Hz refresh rate. And now let's open this slightly faster on the Redmi Note 12 again. So, next on the list is Apple.com. Apple.com it is faster on the Camon 20 this time. I did not expect that. So, let's see the scrolling again. Scrolling feels much smoother on the Redmi. Note 12 although we can see some jitters on this phone but now it is at 120 Hz most of the time while on the Camon 20 it is not even at 60 Hz I can see that so now check out RAM management on both phones Redmi Note 12 I have is a 6 GB of RAM variant while the Camon 20 has 8 GB of RAM I know it is not fair comparison but anyways phone dialer that is seems like refresh settings still there amazon shopping and that is refresh on the camon 20 let's see candy Crush saga refresh on the camon 20 instagram that is seems like refresh pin out that is seems like refresh snapchat seems like refresh on spotify and that is refresh on the camon 20 subway Surfer, refresh on the camon refresh on both phones so you can see and most of the time redmi Note 12 is performed better in the RAM management despite having a 6 GB of RAM. So temper and 2 and that is refresh on the Redmi Note 12. PUBG refresh on the Redmi Note 12. Now let's see X that is seems like in-app refresh. Zedge that is in-app refresh I think. And last we back to the internet browser that is also refresh on the Redmi Note 12 regarding the app's opening speed as you can see that and the Redmi Note 12 is performed faster only in games but as far as the system based applications are concerned it is very similar on both phones so in terms of the RAM wise in that area and the Camon 20 I would say is taking the lead at the end in terms of the RAM wise or Redmi Note 12 is performed better only in the start. I have the RAM management will improve with some software updates in the future. Both phones has a 5000 mAh battery size with the 33 watt fast charging. Yes, in the box we also get a 33 watt fast charger. So thank you so much for watching this sweet test comparison between the Camon 20 versus the Xiaomi Redmi Note 12. So do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos like this and follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.